welcome back in the previous video this way we left by creating this navbar and then drop down all right cool so in this video we are going to work on the header so the logic we are going to use is using what flexbox and we're going to use only one component called box and sx prop to style it so let's get started but before that i think the icon for the our logo the size of the logo is small so let's head over to the navbar here and inside the icon here let's provide some font size font size let's call this make it 2.4 rem and then i want to have some margin and padding at the navbar so let me call this one padding here at the top and bottom let's give it as 15 pixels at the top and bottom and the left and right zero pixels so let's see the result okay it looks nice or let's make it 10 it's okay and let's see all right it looks nice now cool so next is let's work on the header right so let's go ahead to the component structure now now by we are gone for now and we implement the responsiveness later on so under the components let's create one component one folder called header component and then here let's create the our components and make use of rafce and to this point i know how you, you, you make use of that so here i'm going to use the box component so quickly let me bring in the box component and you may be saying why I always box components but not div if you use the box component you have access to the default access to the default styling system for material UI. and we can also add our own css to it so if you if you want to use the div you cannot use the default styling okay from material UI system okay so let's go ahead and then render this component so let's come here and let's call this one header for my components and let's render it below as that okay cool all right so not much in that component so let's see whether it has been displayed or not all right typography is not defined yes of course so let's bring in typography the auto import perfect now it works but there's no way to be found my header and typography material UI. Why is not showing? Well, it looks weird, right? So let's give it some variant and call this one H1. Yeah, oh, because I give it some margin here at the navbar. You see the problem that uh, the navbar, the outbar gives us. You see that we have that kind of margin. Uh, being pushed up so to avoid that we need to give the nav bar some margin bottom so it's about try and error here so for the sx prop let's give this one margin bottom okay margin bottom here and provide let's say 10 pixels here let's see let's see what we have it doesn't make sense no effects the increase to 90 and C okay it's still so to ha avoid this one what I normally use oh passes to the toolbar what I normally use is my box component to avoid this right so it provide box here as a wrapper to that let's see what we have now you see that I don't have that and I still have my effect so instead of the up bar, I don't want to use that. Up bar in, in just some part of margin, I don't want that. So that's why I prefer to use the box instead of the up bar. Okay, so now I have my header. So let's go ahead and quickly structure that. So let me remove this one from here and here. So for this now uh, header, all what I did was I used a background color and some text here and align them to the flex start uh, as that so let's quickly go ahead and implement that so for this for this reason i have the images for this project and i'll provide it in the resources 
So all you need is that just copy that images and go to Ursa public here, public here, and let me drag the whole folder into the public folder as that. And we're going to use you see all the images we're going to use in this project. Okay, so let's quickly lay out. So for this header component, I want to provide a minimum weight using X, the SX prop and call this one mean height. Let's give this one as 80 view H and then background color. The background here, I'm going to use the image so URL here and then your carry your bracket and then reference where the images are so inside my public. So images slash um, header dot png. So let's save it and check it out. And there you go. We have I think the pattern is too much for this for the navbar here. So let's go to the navbar and then I think I have more margin bottom here because I'm using the I don't need that for now because I'm using my yes there you go it looks nice cool so we have header and we have our backgrounds so all I'm gonna do is I want to push this one at the extreme left here right so let me add more classes to the image so for the image here I'm gonna say the background size background size let's give this one as a cover so that if I, if I reduce the screen size you can see that it, it responds to the size of the screen and background repeat say no repeat okay so now the image is done cool so now let's lay out this one so the text I use here so it's gonna be pretty simple now I'm going to mark this one as what that is so let me add one more text here box here component here and inside my box component like I said by default is a div and let me add some excess prop here and say display this one to flex because I want to align the text here to the extreme left so here I'm going to add the text inside I don't waste my time here typing that for you it's going to be boring here so I'm going to copy the text here inside so the first one you can pause the video and type it so I just pass in typography and to this point I know you know how it's being used typography here and I pass in this prop okay in my text as that so next one is I have three text here and next one I'm gonna be copy that so make sure you are inside your box com box component and this one to provide the h3 variant and then the last one here also as that so when I save this one now they are all being aligned from right left to right so I want to tell the div component here right to display as column right so here the div here yeah, just five flex direction sorry i'm going to be flex direction here to be column when i save it now they have been on top of each other and all i'm going to do is i will say that just five content here should be what um center here and align items to be flex start so here align items items here to be flex start flex start perfect now let's see all right but because it's not responding because the parents of this has no height so let's provide a height for this right a height for this parent component or div and let's make it at the same as the parent container so if you provide that there we go but let's provide some margin okay and before I end this video I want to show you some shorthand property we can use in material UI so for this we have a shorthand property called margin left and it provide three no units and you can see that 
we have that. So if you want to learn more about the shorthand property, so let's quickly search for the, is it shorthand notation? Yeah, shorthands. Okay. So if you click on the spacing here, you can see that we have the notation, right? And we have margin and pattern, for example, we have all the four box model, the top, bottom, left, right. And we have this X and Y. So this X and Y simply means that if you want to change the pattern or margin from left and right, it will apply to left and right. And Y means top and bottom. Okay, cool. So if you are using it, don't use any unit. And you see that by system is going to multiply by what eight going to be 16. cool so that is it guys so in the next video we are going to work on the this section and the most important concept in material ui is called a grid system